Hey guys, I'm from Sleeping Reverie here. Um, today is the Power Rangers Legacy Morpher review, and I decided that I'm going to go ahead and review the Legacy Morpher. I've seen a few online, all you guys have done a great job, so kudos. I'm just throwing my, my hat in the ring, so to speak, um, in terms of Legacy Morpher reviews. Um, just doing it because my show is a Morpher review show, so pretty sure um, it'd be pretty smart to do a Legacy Morpher. As you got, if you guys saw my Lightspeed Rescue review, you did see a preview, and you do know that I did get my hands on a few Legacy Morphers. So for those who didn't see it, here it is, and I hope you guys enjoy my review. And here it goes. Okay, so the Power Ranger Legacy Morpher. Um, I happened to get four of them. Kind of a long story. Four Legacy Morphers. Um, since you've seen all four boxes pretty much I'm just going to bring out one right now so this is the front can't really tell because of the camera quality to Toys R Us exclusive right here which means only Toys R Us makes them as you guys see the coins here um, here they are I'm going to show you in detail in a second so here's the top of it it has the original team with the old school with the old school logo right there and it's 15 plus it's for recommended for 15 and older which means this is definitely just a collector piece, which is a really cool nod to us collectors. If you're under 15 and love Power Rangers, you're cool too. I'm just saying, you know, it's made for collectors. So you're ahead of your time. So anyways, there's the advertisement made made in China and stuff like that. That's the other part of the box. So yeah, nothing really special. You do got the Armored Red Ranger right here, which I do have um, on my collection. Bam, there's the other side. So this is the, the back of it, um, die cast, it's pretty heavy, we'll get into that. Um, theme song, all the coins, the morpher, the holster, we'll get into the whole shebang. But before we get into that, I do want to mention um, one thing I don't see from other people's reviews is talking about the contents inside the box per se. Uh, in terms of, uh, not the instructions, because the instructions are pretty self-explanatory. But um, if uh, Bandai, it's a Bandai survey. So it says, thank you for your time. You go to this website, research.net, my open Power Rangers. Um, it's really interesting because it just asks you like what kind of collector you are, why you bought the Morpher, the Legacy Morpher, and things like that. And I think this is a really, really good indication of what Bandai plans to do for us hardcore collectors who are adults or teenagers turning into adults that really love to collect these things. So I would say, um, please, if you get a Legacy Morpher, go online and take the survey and encourage Bandai to make more high quality products because as you guys know we will buy them if they are high quality and we are tired and, and tired of getting the crappy morphers like the Robo Morpher and the Samurizer so give us a deluxe go say morpher we bought it the Mega Force deluxe morpher um, the, the Legacy Morpher those things are selling like hotcakes although more of a waffle is bad but hotcakes are cool anyways so yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. So let's get go ahead and get with the Morpher. Um, here's my first one. It's the Tyrannosaurus one, Red Ranger. If you see, it has a gap right there based on the holster. So let's take it out and examine the holster first. Here's the holster. It's it's made out of plastic, but it's pretty it's pretty sturdy, pretty durable. Um, the back it has like little belt clips so you can put on your belt. I did put it like on my on my uh on my shorts like you know workout shorts see what it, how it would fit but like since they're mesh it kind of just you know it was so heavy it dragged down but i'm pretty sure if you put this on like jeans it will hold up so yeah this is the holster pretty cool holster actually we'll do the whole shebang so uh um, here's the morpher the red ranger one in case my camera quality is not helping this is it right here it's pretty big it's pretty pretty heavy and it's made out of metal. See, just to, it's like very clunky. And the reason why I didn't turn on the power yet, there's a power button right here. Uh, where are you? You can just, can't really see it, but it's right here. And um, anyways, um, I, the reason why I didn't turn it on first is because when you turn it on, it does this. And I like to see the lights move when it does that. So I turn it on, then I close it again. And it's really heavy. It's very screen accurate in terms of the repo labels and the coin. So, yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, this is how it looks. Now, here's the back of it. 
It does have the Zoo Ranger emblem. Uh, if I'm not saying that right, you Sentai diehards can go ahead and, you know, give me a little crash course on how to say it. Like I said, I'm specifically Power Ranger, more than Sentai. But there's the Zoo Ranger um, emblem. It's it's like painted on and like engraved on. So there's no sticker like in the original one. And it has the five colors on the handle and on the base right here of the Rangers. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do kind of miss the sticker aspect of it because it's more so accurate for the original Morpher. And just to give you a, an idea on size, this is my, my Mighty Morphin Bandai one, my Red Ranger one. And here's the Legacy Morpher one. So, bam, you see, like, like, I mean, it's just like, you know, like, it's just really, really small next to it. You see, and, um, and here's the Mighty Morphin one. It's Morphin time! Tyrannosaurus! Okay? So then you have that one, then you have this one. It's Morphin time! Tyrannosaurus! And we'll let the whole, we'll let the song play for the most part. You guys have seen this in other reviews. It plays the whole theme song. This is a pretty long morphing sequence that I was really trying to morph. But you never know, maybe the morphing grid's kind of busy. You know, a busy signal, so it might take a while to morph. But here goes. So yeah, that's the way it morphs. Now to look at the coin, to get the coin out, you just press this button down really hard, kind of hard, and you just make sure it's on your palm so the coin falls on your palm. So yeah, the coin is really, really, really um, just detailed. Just look at that. It's thick, it's detailed. The back is like, this is definitely made for collectors. So you got the Power Ranger insignia embroidered, embroidered in the back. Really, really hard, really, really heavy duty. Um, here's how it compares to the other one, which is a it's a Star Studio coin, so it's actually metal as well. So here they are, Star Studios, Legacy Morpher. So yeah, there they are. Um, I'm kind of in a conundrum right now in terms of my Mighty Morphin collection because I have six Mighty Morphin uh, original Bandai ones like these. Three of them are movie morphers that you guys have seen. And three of them are like, uh, one of them is Green Ranger. Then I have this Red Ranger. And then the other one, I put a Sabertooth Tiger coin because of my Legacy Morphers. I didn't put a Sabertooth Tiger coin in. And I felt kind of bad for leaving the Yellow Ranger out. So I decided to make one of my original Morphers, a Sabertooth Tiger one, which is over there on my shelf. So anyways, to pop this back, here's how it looks without it. When you put the power coin in, all you do is just pop it back in. And it just fits fits in. So this is the Morpher. It looks really, really cool. It's heavy. When I, I still think um, that first happened when I got it, I just I opened it, and the first thing that blew me away was how heavy it was. I did not think it was going to be that heavy. So if you just look at the size comparison, you know. Uh, one thing you will notice is that this doesn't have a red button where you morph. See right here. Um, that's the, one of my pet peeves about it. But to have a 99% like bad, bad, cool morpher, you know, badass morpher, um, I think it's worth it. So if I have to not get a red button right here, then I will for sure um, think it's worth it because it's really, really cool. And um, that's probably my only complaint about it. Besides the lights, I love the song. I love the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger song. But in the show, the, the lights are blinking like really fast, just like this Morpher. So I just feel like it's a little more show accurate. I'm pretty sure it didn't make that annoying noise. You know, but um, on this one, the lights just rotate, you see? Which is really cool. But um, I wish it like had a mode where you can make them all flash like that. So yeah, this is the Red Ranger Legacy Morpher, and you can do a lot of cool things with it. Um, you can, uh, um, before I put it back in the buckle, just to give you an example, you can do, uh, you know, Mighty Morphin Season 1 and 2. It's Morphin Time! Tyrannosaurus!
Oh, forgot to turn it on. Let's try that again. It's morphing time. Tyrannosaurus. You can morph into the Red Ranger like that. Or you can do Season 3. It's morphing time. Red Ranger power. So you do Red Ranger power and transform into the Red Ranger. Or you can do the cool little um, Once a Ranger morph, which they actually did in Season 3 um, a couple of times, which I thought was really cool because it's one of my favorite like morphs. So here's the Mastodon one. Um, you can do the cool Atomorph. It's morphing time. Yeah, and then Adam turns into the Black Ranger. So yeah, so you can do all kinds of morphs. It's really, really cool. Um, let me give you a little quick tour of my whole collection. Um, here it is in the buckle again. See, you can see a little gap right here. Um, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but um, they're also showing on another video I saw. You can do it like this. Maybe that's how they did it in Zoo Ranger. Never watched Zoo Ranger. So you Sentai lovers can tell me. But um, you can do it like this too. I don't recommend doing it like this because when I did it like that, I felt like um, the like the chrome or not the it's not really chrome, but you know what I mean. The metal on my morpher got scratched, which I don't think that's the case. But you know, I'm just paranoid about my stuff because I'm OCD about having my stuff really neat. So here's the here's the view. There's the Red Ranger one, Tyrannosaurus, Mastodon, pretty pretty cool. So yeah, like I said, I'm kind of in a conundrum because I don't know how to display them because I have four of these and uh, three Mighty Morphin and three Movie Morphers, so that kind of leaves me unbalanced, but I'll figure it out. You know, that's a good problem to have, but here it is. Here's the Triceratops Blue Ranger one, and not to leave the, the females out, Pterodactyl, and I felt really, really bad that I didn't put Saber Tiger in here, but I figured the Pink Ranger was, you know, more on everyone's, you know, mind in terms of popularity although um, Trini was personally my favorite when I was a kid I had the biggest crush on her um, really really cool rest in peace Tui so yeah um, so that's why I put the Sabre Tiger coin in one of my originals so yeah so this is the pterodactyl one so um, let me know if you guys have any questions I almost feel like this wasn't too thorough but I am trying to improve my uh, times in terms of trying not to take all day and ramble you guys ears off but that was the Power Rangers Legacy Morpher. Once again, here's the holster. Don't forget to um, check out the, the Bandai survey I told you about because that means we'll get more cool stuff as collectors. Here's the box, Toys R Us exclusive. Um, so I'm going to morph and then I'm going to talk prices with you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. It's morphing time. Tyrannosaurus. Okay, now that I gave you guys one last taste of it um, I'm gonna go on price on eBay the first time they debuted in February they were going for uh, for two hundred dollars buy it now I specifically remember watching uh, Bruno's video he's saying not to buy it and I agree with him hundred percent don't buy it people are trying to rip you off right now on eBay they're about you know 120 to 150 buy it now you can bid on some for like a hundred but it's gonna get shot up to 120 so my advice is don't buy any of those on eBay. Uh, I don't mean to hurt the people on eBay, but it's just the facts. Um, go to ToysRUs.com right now, and you can pre-order a Legacy Morpher. It doesn't get here till May, but you are guaranteed however many you order. And if you order more than one, you get free shipping. So I might just order one more to complete my set. Other than that, I don't see any need to go on eBay and buy some. I'd be willing to wait a couple of months to make sure I get one at the, good, at the right price. They did change the price from 50 to 60 but 10 more dollars, I guess Toys R Us just didn't know the demand they were going to have, and they told Saban and Bandai, like, hey, you guys need to make more of these because we're getting calls about it every day. So it's a good thing that that happened. So um, go to ToysRUs.com, pre-order. They're still taking pre-orders. They're shipping March 6th, I believe. That could be a couple of days off. And they're $60. Buy one more. It's free shipping. It's worth it. I'm going to go uh, pre-order one more so I can complete my set. I have four and I want one more. So like I said, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below. And as anyone who comments on my show knows, I do, um, I do, com I do comment back and, and message a few of my viewers and we talk about Power Rangers. So there it goes. Um, Arm for Sleeping Reverie signing off. If you guys have any uh, questions, comment below. And hope you enjoyed the more free review. Have a good one. Take it easy. Have a safe spring break. 
and may the power protect you. Thanks.